Everton owner Mike Ashley wrote a £21 million check to bring the midfielder to the Premier League from Major League Soccer in January. Fans were pleased with what they saw when he came on again Wolves 10 days ago. Friedel has watched him closely in the States and says talk that the 25-year-old could be the best ever import from the USA isn't wide of the mark. Almy Roan may be a loss to Atlanta, but is a definite gain for Newcastle, said Friedel in an interview with American website us-bookies.com. It was a painful introduction to Premier League football image, Getty, he was exceptional and the Atlanta Scouting Network did a fantastic job in bringing him and I know they paid a lot of money by MLS standards, and he did a fantastic job there, the Premier League is different, it's very fast and physical but he has the tools to deal with it, to be very good in England. Any league in the world, it will take any player a little bit of adapting, but he has the potential to do very well over there. I think any team that signed him would have had someone to link up with him very well, and you'll see his pace. Friedel revealed how close he came to signing for Newcastle United early on in his career. The big money buy is exceptional, says the ex-USA international image, PA Wire. Brad Friedel also claims he signed for Newcastle in 1994 but it all went wrong, image, Getty, but he failed to acquire a work permit and the deal was canned late on. I actually signed for Newcastle in 1994, but I wasn't able to attain a work permit so I went from Newcastle to Brondby, he announced. I was playing for the USA, but they didn't have an appeals process on the work permit. You had to have played 75% of your national team's games over the last two years, and when I had applied I think I was 22 years of age and I was the number two at the World Cup and only had 50 60th percent. But by the time I signed with Liverpool that's when I had 